everyone. Five reasons why overcoming old patterns isn't working for you. Old patterns are part of how we operate as habitual human beings. Patterns are really important to take note of. Patterns are helpful or harmful, so we need to determine which are helpful and which are harmful. So here are five old patterns that you probably have, that most people do have, that are harmful. One, low self-esteem, not feeling good about yourself. This usually comes from trauma from childhood. Uh, parents weren't there for us, parents put us down sometimes, maybe big brothers and sisters or classmates at school. Maybe you were told you were fat or stupid or slow or whatever the insults were that people hurled at you. I'm sure that must have hurt your self-esteem. So taking a look at our self-esteem, doing what we can to raise our self-esteem is really important. And my practice and my mission in the world is all about helping you with that. But that's an old pattern to take a look at, low self-esteem. The next is fatigue and low energy and having a lack of motivation. So to me, this also comes from childhood, from not feeling good about myself or not having a mission or something important that you're spending your time doing. So a lot of times people have fatigue and low energy because they don't sleep enough or maybe they're sick, but I think all of that's tied in together because in my opinion, it's our emotional self, our emotional body that causes physical illness. So when we really make the corrections to our mindset first, and we make corrections to our emotions so that we feel happy, joyous, and free, then we're not gonna feel low energy and low self-esteem. And I know for me, when I have a mission, something I wanna work on, something exciting that I'm gonna do today, then that really helps me to have a lot more energy. The next one is stuffing emotions. So many of my clients just stuff their emotions. They don't know what to do with that, or they distract themselves when their emotions come up. And they watch Netflix or other streaming services, or they, get involved in addictions, alcohol, drugs, sex, gambling, overeating, so many different things that are addictions that people get into when they don't know how to feel or they don't know how to express their feelings in healthy ways. So do you do that? Do you stuff your emotions? Take a look at that old pattern and see how it might be harming you in your life today. Blame, shame causes conflict in relationships. So that's the fourth one that I'm gonna discuss. In my family, I, we were blamed when we did something wrong. We were blamed for not being good enough, not getting high enough grades, not this or that. So being blamed causes shame and that causes problems in relationships. So take a look at how maybe you blame others, how you blame yourself or how you blame other people because that's your pattern and that old pattern is not working for you. The next one is poor performance on your job and your career, which leads to financial distress. And financial distress is one of the major causes of you know, marriage breakups or marriage conflicts. So being able to really focus on the job, having enough insight as to what you're doing there and why you love it there or leaving it if you don't love it there, finding something that you do love so that you can raise your income and you can feel good about yourself. I'm not saying it's all about money because my life is definitely not all about money and never has been, but it is about feeling good and it is about doing the right thing and being of service. So these are the five patterns that I've identified for today. And I hope you got something out of that and can identify what those patterns are for you. If you need help in overcoming those patterns, please reach out for help. My course and membership program, Essential Mastery, is open until midnight tomorrow. So kind of quick. I hope that you have downloaded my free PDF, which you can see in the link uh, in my bio, or and also taking a look at the webinar that I created for you. All of that is free to help you to realize what may be going on with you. And I just wanna also add that a lot of people are in denial. A lot of people are in denial that they have or had PTSD or high anxiety, but I'm here to help people that are in that position. So if that's you, Please reach out for help. Please enroll in my program and I look forward to working with you. All right. Thanks for listening and take care.